the manifestation of the spirit what, what kind of dispensation are we in right now are we we're in this the Holy Ghost dispensation where he's manifesting himself the manifestation of the spirit and I'm gonna say something right now whether you like it or not is only to profit you everything he does will lead you to prosperity the manifestation of the spirit is given to two people no to every man to profit with all is this right yes. is the manifestation of the spirit going to be given to you yes. are you in the manifestation of the spirit dispensation yes. you're in the dispensation of the manifestation of the spirit being given to every man to profit with all try saying that three times fast what makes you think that the manifestation of the spirit financially isn't equally as powerful in getting people saved as some other manifestation who are you you elitist snob you religious pig you Pharisee of Pharisees isn't this nice who are you to think and to say that a manifestation of the Spirit financially isn't equally as powerful in getting people saved and in my estimation more so are you here a manifestation of the Spirit for good and profit so another translation says that a manifestation of the Spirit isn't equally if not more so as powerful getting people saved as some other manifestation we think well maybe healing hmm. this is people been walking around in poverty gospel preaching some kind of other thing because they're not in the dispensation of the Holy Ghost the dis dispensation of prosperity in fact if it was up to them the day of Pentecost never would have come Jesus would have stayed with them we just talk about religious Jesus and our poverty gospel which is you die and go to heaven and until you get there you just got to eke on by and everything that comes to you is a trial and a tribulation and God's bringing it your way so you can show how pious and ridiculous you are because God doesn't want to prosper me what makes you think that the manifestation of the Spirit financially isn't and you understand when I say the manifestation of the Spirit financially I mean any of the gifts of the Spirit the Holy Ghost moving on to you the Holy Ghost giving you a revelation wisdom knowledge seeing into the future understanding the past you understand yeah. tongues interpretation of tongues I've had tongues interpretation of tongues that blessed me financially yeah. I remember that time when we had a car it was running our car was literally running out it would not pass inspection it was not a good day I had like a week left and I'm thinking what am I gonna do what am I gonna do what am I gonna do have you been there what am I gonna do well I tell you what I'm gonna do I started praying in tongues and then while I'm praying in tongues my tongue shifted say his tongue shifted his tongue shifted my tongue shifted until I knew it was a tongue that was interpretable say it was a tongue that was interpretable and then I found the words coming out of my mouth as I interpreted the tongues don't go do that don't go borrow any money I have a car for you and within a few a few days somebody calls Sharon up on the phone says we have a car for you you have to come down and get it it was a nice car certainly nicer than the one we were driving it didn't cost us anything you know what it cost me some tongues it cost me was that a gift of the Spirit financially if I hadn't have already been saved I might have got saved over that you understand so why don't you start moving in the gifts of the Spirit in financial ways so people can be blessed because the goodness of God leads men to repentance not the damnation of God that's just one instance time and time and time again it doesn't always listen it doesn't always have to come from a manifested gift of the Spirit that you can say this was a word of wisdom because that tongue and interpretation was a tongue and interpretation but it had part of a gift of the word of wisdom in there because it told me what was going to happen in the future so it was functioning the gifts function together but it doesn't always have to be that it could just be you speaking in other tongues praying in the Spirit because you're speaking out of your belly your innermost being and the Holy Ghost is trying to get things over to you I, I don't want this dispensation of prosperity 
no you don't want to think that you want it your religious mind wants to think oh I don't want this because somehow I'm better than that <laughs> are you getting this what makes you think that the manifestation of the spirit financially isn't equally as powerful in getting people saved as some other manifestation it's not a second-class blessing it's not a second-class blessing from a second-class God no it's something that we can't do without we've been trying to do without we can't do without it we must have the manifestation of the Spirit financially if we're going to do what we need to do in the earth there are people who won't get saved any other way right. than a manifestation of the Spirit financially. The gospel to the poor. What is it? You don't have to be poor anymore. The kingdom of heaven is yours. If you learn how to operate in the kingdom of heaven, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost, then you're going to have prosperity. It just comes with Him. Yeah. Careful not to despise the things of the Spirit of God listen to me don't despise the things of the Spirit of God if he's bringing you find financial prosperity through a gift of the Spirit it's still a gift of the Spirit it's still from the kingdom of God you better watch out who are you to say that to say what part of the gospel is more important than another I'm the one who said I would make men rich Proverbs 10 22 what's it say the blessing of the Lord makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it is that in your Bible yeah. well if you're gonna believe the poverty gospel rip it out right now I'm the one who said I would make men rich and we're in the dispensation of prosperity he's gonna make you rich it's part of the gospel rich <laughs> yeah you know and you're gonna have to refile those things in your head because we have so much garbage in there that keeps us from believing this the man that gets healed because you pray for him with a manifestation of the gift of the Spirit I lay my hands on the sick and they recover right. Right? right he gets saved because God healed him of whatever it was and you can lead him into the kingdom of God and into the Holy Ghost right, right. why from a manifestation of a gift of healing and you're all right with that what about God delivering him from poverty what about God bringing him a job supernaturally what about God taking his debts and removing them yes. through a gift of the Spirit but somehow we think that it's less valuable no to the poor man the gospel to him is good news fixing his situation you should be expecting gifts of the Spirit to come on you so that prosperity follows you wherever you go I'm the one who said I would make men rich this is not a side issue listen it's important to me despisest thou the riches of his goodness and forbearance and long-suffering not knowing that the goodness of God leads thee to repentance yes. now everybody loves that verse of Scripture the goodness of God leads men to repentance but the beginning of the verse says despisest thou the riches people are despising the riches they despise it they disesteem it that's another translation of that word they disesteem the riches of his goodness what makes you think that the manifestation of the Spirit financially isn't equally as powerful as another manifestation of the Spirit who are you to say that who are you to despise the riches of his goodness listen it's riches of his goodness coming in a manifestation of the Spirit and you are not to despise it you are to embrace it as if it were any other good manifestation of the Spirit it's coming from heaven it's coming from God it may be the part of the gospel and Frank it is the part of the gospel that leads men to repentance yeah. because it's the goodness of God they're despising the riches of his goodness riches specifically meaning wealth of his goodness that leads men to repentance means they're gonna it leads them are you telling me that God blessing someone financially will cause them to turn around and repent and seek God 
that's exactly what I'm saying and that's what the Holy Ghost wants to do in this day and age I've been using you in your hands so hold your hands up whatever you put your hands on to prospers these hands are going to be for prosperity father I'm asking you right now to bless the hands of these people and put in them gifts of the Spirit that cause people to be manifested into prosperity the manifestation of the gifts of the Spirit into financially blessing people and bringing them into the kingdom of God we thank you father for it in the name of Jesus amen, amen. hallelujah